Hey traders, Raggy here. And we're going to talk about gold because if there's a market that I ever get consistent questions about how to trade it, it is absolutely gold. And so one of the things that we've been focusing on is only the long side. So that's been focusing on either pullbacks, oversold levels, etc. And and probably for the first time in about a month, I'm looking at a very specific type of movement that we're seeing right now. And that is right here, a little bit more consolidation. And you're seeing, we're starting to get it again right now. So let me show you what it looks like. It is more blue grab candles than green. Now, why does a candle go blue? Now you'll notice it's two shades of blue. This is the way my grab, G-A-R-B, candles work. Uh, grand, grab simply stands for green, red, and blue. If prices are trading above the 34 period exponential moving average on the high, if we trade above that, the candle color goes green. If we're trading below the 34 period on the low, the 34 EMA on the low, the candles go red. And if we're anywhere inside those two levels, the candles are blue, all right? Denoting a certain neutral market. So it, it doesn't, and if they're up candles, by the way, it's a lighter shade of blue or green or red. And if it's a darker shade, that's a down candle. So close up, lighter shade, close down, darker shade. So, so by the candle coloring, you don't lose that interpretation of classic Japanese candlesticks. All right, so why am I bringing this up? Well, if you'll notice the value area high right here is the volume profile for September to the value area low, you'll notice is about 68 to 20. So 48 points, give or, you know, give or take a little bit here, about 48 points. Now let's take a look at that historical volatility of gold, the historical daily price movement range volatility. So I just mentioned the high to low range is right about here. And you'll notice a typical daily price movement range is about 52, 53 points. So right now, the current range, basically that high to low zone, you know, even if I go up to this level in 80 down to 20, that's 60 points. So why am I making a big deal about the fact that this range is as narrow as it is? Well, this is consolidating, gang. To me, anything less than two daily price movement ranges, and if you get below one and a half, so two X or one and a half X, the daily price movement range, and we have what I believe to be a, a consolidating market. So I know this is a sideways market. I have the trade flag telling me it's a sideways market, but what kind of sideways market? Is it a volatile sideways market? Or is it something moving a little bit more narrow? I think we're getting the more narrow variety. So that actually then starts to set us up for a potential breakout, what we would then call a squeeze or a momentum break. And so we're gonna start looking for higher volume levels through which we can trigger a momentum entry. And I'm focusing on the long side because remember, gold is a play on real yield real yields. And I don't believe real yields are moving higher. They're going to move lower and gold moves inverse to the direction of real yields. So two things we can do. I think that buying calls in the area between the point of control and the value area low, expecting movement to the upside, that absolutely for me works. So that'd be a great place to get long calls. That would be more of an exhaustion, but taking out the resistance, not just of the value area high, but possibly also just these highs that we've seen back in here. So I'm talking about this high here, this high here. I think that could trigger another momentum break if it's accompanied by volume and we won't know until that happens. So that would be a high volume, high volume breakout. All right. But the reason that's valid is because I do believe because of the width of this range, we are actually in accumulation. 
Okay. So keep that in mind. Think about the market trend first before you start to think about what indicators and strategies that you want to use because it's the market environment that dictates the strategy. In this case, I'm going to start thinking about a momentum, high volume breakout scenario. All right, gang, I'll see you in the next update.